Welcome to 6406 Culpeper Cove. I have a real treat for you today because we are in the hills of West Austin, but this is a single story spread out really long across this lot. It is as private as anything I sell out here, and it's on over two acres. Matthew, if you would, give them a feel for what's out back. So notice just walls of glass across the back overlooking an area that is completely built out. To the top right, that's the Balcones Canyonland Preserve. But everything behind us is either ours or belongs to the houses way up on the hill over there. So it's all built out. So this remains your view as long as you're here. We walk into an amazing two-story family room. Notice we have some interior stone. These are mesquite wood floors. Beautiful, massive double doors. This was an extremely high-end build. And you'll know as I start showing you some of the features. Super high-end windows. The trim is beautiful. Look at the size of this dining area. Glass all the way around, beam ceiling. Again, the mesquite floors, and it is wide open to the kitchen. This is a single slab of granite for the countertop, and the kitchen is just beautifully finished. Again, super high-end. The appliances, we have a huge Thermador commercial range. We have Miele, a steam oven and convection oven and microwave over here. But take a look at this custom cabinetry. I mean, the cabinetry is just beautiful in this house. And this is indicative of everything. So here I have a, a cabinet that opens and it's got pull out drawers. Across the way, if I open this one, it's the same thing. It is equipped with pull outs all the way across. Really very, very well thought out. You have your coffee bar here. You have tons of space, tons of counter space for working. Huge sink, as I mentioned to you. Look at the size of the Thermador range. Massive vent hood that's vented outside. And Matthew, if you could show him this. Again, just to give you a feel for the cabinetry in this house. Look at how this works. The whole thing pulls out. Really beautifully done. The cabinetry is recessed so that the doors are actually flush with the frames. Has a huge walk-in pantry around the corner. Glass shelving, it's all lit up above. I mean, really beautifully done. Big built-in fridge over on the side there. And then the master wing is this whole side of the house. So starting here, one, we have built-ins. We have the window seat with storage beneath. And look how private up front. Beautiful yard. You can see that that stone is uplit with the light there. So at night, it's really beautiful. And behind me, French doors lead us into the office. Look at the bank of windows. And these are quality crank windows. We have built-ins, we have built-ins, and even for the built-ins. So for our printer, this side, this side as well, has pull-outs. Again, really nicely thought out. And you have a built-in desk on this side, again, with storage all up above, the beautiful crown molding. Look at the feet on the cabinetry. Beautifully done. And then here is our master bedroom. Big beam ceilings, but look out back. This is about as private as it gets. You look out to your own patio, only accessible from the master bedroom, where you have the big beam ceiling, the ceilings popped up in the middle. Lots of space in here. Beautiful light if you want it. Huge French doors. And the master bath. His. Hers, the shower, heads on each side. You have the wand on this side as well, but this gives you a feel for the space in the shower. If you have shower parties, this is a great shower. It's a little joke. Uh, makeup area, private potty, and a walk-in closet the size that you would expect for this kind of house. Built-ins, built-ins, we have windows, and we got tons of storage on the sides also. Lots and lots of hanging space. In fact, we have three levels. One, two, three, four levels of hanging space here. We got lots of shoe space. And again, our master suite is on the far right side of the house, as far from everybody else as you can get. 
Let me show you the secondary bedrooms. I really love the finishes of this house. All the doors are solid wood doors. The hardware, the door hardware is solid m -Tech hardware. Doesn't seem like a big deal, but a house that I just sold out here is under contract, same size, two story. Uh, it's under contract at 2.5 million. And all of these are quick set hardware. It's about $15 a door. These are about $85 a door just for the pull. The other house had hollow core doors. These are solid wood doors throughout the house. As I said, this is a very expensive build. Coming back through the office to the right, kitchen, built-in, super high-end appliances again. Wall of glass out look, looking out back. Here's your, here's an indication for your central vac system. Central vac is throughout the house. This is your powder room slash pool bath. So through this door, anyone who's out at the pool comes in through here. This use, this works as our pool bath as well as the guest powder room. Nicely outfitted. And then look at the living space in this single story. So we have a TV viewing area. Look at the space, massive for a built-in. There isn't, there isn't a TV made that can't fit in that space. Normally with the built-ins, you you're confined to a certain size TV, not here. Really well laid out with seating. And then over here, big sitting kind of living area, game room with bar, tons and tons of storage, refrigerated drawers, and our own private covered patio out back off of this living area. Now, you see over here, there's a shade that can come down because the sun sets that way. That's west. But look out back, beautiful negative edge pool. Over here to the left, we have fire pit with seating, built-in seating all the way around. Our grill is back here, hot tub over here, hot tub on the far right, because that's where our master bedroom is. And you see across the way, we have a covered patio all the way across. I'll show you more back here in a little while. Okay, I would like to point out from the standpoint of noise, I have big double doors that can close off here to keep us separate from the front living room and kitchen. So noise isn't a factor. I have another door here that can close off. So for the secondary bedrooms, which are down this hallway, if someone's out here watching TV, you'd have that noise has to go through walls and multiple doors to make it into the bedroom. And bedroom number one, beautiful pop-up ceiling. And just look, look at what's out back here. I mean, this, again, this is one of the most private settings of any of the houses I will have sold in Long Canyon. It's about 3,800 square feet. All the bedrooms have their own bathroom. As I said, pop-up ceiling, beautiful views, incredibly private. Matthew, show them the walk-in closet. Great size walk-in closet, again, with a built-in dresser. And depending on your style, this is a, a little more fun room. It's lighter in paint. And then the bathroom, you can see how it's trimmed out with the teal. It's really pretty. Here, through the shower, very well done. So depending on your taste, this house can be very transitional. Um, it can be, if you like the dark stones and the dark paints, it has that. But if you wanna lighten it up, this gives you a feel for what it also can be. It has a private potty area. And then next door, You have your own private gym. So we have an office on the far side of the house. We have the game room slash theater room, and then the formal living when we walked in, and now our gym. Gym, again, wall of glass overlooking the back. Matthew, if you come back here again, over to the right is the fire pit pool area, and then that creek down there, that creek is part of this property. But again, look how private this is. Yes, they have window treatments here, but I don't know why they would ever need them. 
because this is their land back there and you can't see anything. Nobody can see in. So great size gym. If you don't need another gym, you can use it for something else. But of course, for me, I really like the idea of a gym. Third bedroom is here. It looks out to the front of the house. And even this bedroom, looking to the front of the house, look how private it is. Look at the work that went into these massive stones that, that, that are basically like retaining walls out front. Really very pretty. Walk-in closet. Has its own bathroom also. Beautifully appointed. Again, the same kind of cabinetry. Beautiful cabinetry. And then down at the end of the hall, this is our utility room. It has a sink. It has storage galore. It has a massive countertop all the way down. More storage all the way down. Really nicely finished. Remember, wood doors everywhere we go in this house. This is to our garage, and this is our catch-all. So when you come in from the garage, if the kids are coming in this way, they can dump things here, and they don't make it into the main part of the house. But it's great for storage. And the garage. So it is a three-car garage. Notice it does have some natural lighting. Has insulated garage doors. A really great feature for our Texas weather. On the outside of the doors, they are beautiful, dark brown stained wood. And there is a massive, let me just show you. There's a massive parking area right outside here. Again, super private. But if you were going to be doing any entertaining or have friends come over, Matthew, follow me out. Okay, first thing, it's a three car garage. And it is super easy to get in and out of because I have this massive parking pad here. If you look up the driveway, again, you see these beautiful stones? That carries all the way up to the top of the driveway. There's been a ton of money spent on landscaping and finishing this. You see, I'm parked over on the far corner. I can fit a ton of additional cars out here and still have plenty of room to get in and out of the garage. Over here, this gives you a better feel for the setting. So the lot itself, goes clear over well beyond my car in the parking pad to the other side of the ravine. And then it comes up the hill and goes all the way across, all the way across. And I'm gonna take you back there in just a minute. But I'm talking about pool is still well over here. And then again, guys, this is, uh, this is over two acres. And I want you to get a feel for how private it is. I'm outside of the driveway right now and there are no houses. There are no neighbors looking in all the way around the back, it is super private. This backyard is about as close to a park as anything you'll find. Uh, I think what we'll do next, Matthew, is I'll take them out back and I'm gonna show them around the pool area. Okay, the backyard I've been talking about. Get a feel for what this is. Behind us is a creek that runs all the way along and you own the creek. The land goes to that far other side and then what's on the back side of this hill uh, is land that's basically the lots from the owners up above that cascades down. So there are no vacant lots. This is what you see. It is completely developed at this point. Matthew, if you'd give them a feel. This takes you back inside the media and game room. This is the door to the pool bath. This is our main living room opening to the kitchen, breakfast area. And then over here, this is our master bedroom with its own private patio. Okay, the lot is spectacular. Here's our hot tub. It's our Pebble Tech pool and beautiful negative edge pool cascading over the, over the side. And Matthew, if you'd show them here. So all of this that you're seeing out here, way over at an angle that way, this is all of our lot. All those trees over there, those are our trees. And then you take it and it wraps around. You see the creek flow back here. Wraps all the way around, way back to where I showed you on the far side by the garage over here. And look up, get a feel for how private this is. You hear the birds chirping, the water of the pool running. I mean, this is really a spectacular setting. It's two acres, but if you wanted to, he has a trail that goes back here. It's, it's a usable two acres if you wanna use the two acres. The house is spread out beautifully. I'm gonna have Matthew run you a quick drone so you can see where you are in the hill country, and then we'll do a quick wrap up.
6406 Culpeper Cove. The neighborhood is Long Canyon. The school district is Leander. And these schools are uh, exemplary in rating. River Place Elementary School, Four Points Middle School, and Vandergrift High School. People move from around the country to go to these schools. This house happens to be a single story set on two acres, but as you see, this is as private a setting as anything I sell out here. Uh, the house itself is around 3,800 square feet. It was an extremely high-end build. Finishes throughout indicate it's a very high-end build. From doors, solid core wood doors, to door hardware, M-Tech hardware, the kitchen appliances are Thermador and Mila. Throughout the house, everywhere you look, it's high-end features. It was a beautiful, expensive build. Uh, as I said, this is a single story. So the most expensive houses to build are the single stories, and this one is spread long across the lot to take advantage of these views out back. As you're seeing, um, extreme privacy, a uh, beautiful walking area down there. If you like to walk through the woods, you own a lot of woods with this one. Has a negative edge pool, has a waterfall cascading from the hot tub into the pool, and, and that's over on the master bedroom side. And then on the far side of the pool is a fire pit with built-in seating and the gas grill. Beneath all your pool equipment is stored in a covered space underneath that, the fire pit area. Again, a, a super expensive, it's a great way to do it to take care of your equipment, but it is very expensive to house the equipment like this is. It has a three car garage with unbelievable parking. The front of this house, you can hardly see it from the street. It sets back so far and slightly down the hill, and you have massive rocks that outline all the way down the driveway. I mean, it's spectacular when you're here. And then also the walkway leading up to the house, it's terraced, and again, you have these beautiful boulders. Um, this is absolutely memorable when people come to see this home. And then the back of the house we have, in addition to the pool and the outside entertaining area, massive yard area, incredibly beautiful trees. Look around. We see leaves. These are not just cedar trees. Most of the trees that I'm seeing here have leaves. These are beautiful trees. And the landscaping is, is meticulously cared for. This is the first owner, the original owner of the house. <clears throat> And the pride of ownership shows everywhere you go throughout this house. You walk through big, massive wooden front doors. Outside those front doors at night, there are lights that illuminate the beautiful stone, including a massive block of fossilized stone that's just on the other side of the front door. But you walk through the massive doors and you're in like a two-story family room. Mesquite wood floors through much of the first floor. Kitchen is open to the breakfast area and family room. Glass all along the back to take advantage of these views. And the kitchen has gorgeous cabinetry. A massive island, as I mentioned, Mila and Thermador appliances. Most of your, your cabinet doors that open, you have pullouts inside. That, that again, super high-end stuff. Having built houses, uh, I, I will tell you, there are so many of the small things that you can't wind up doing because you, you wind up breaking your budget. It seems here they did all of them beautifully done. And the master wing is on the far, far right side of the house. It has a private study. Outside the study are built-ins with a window seat with storage underneath. Inside the study, we have two big banks of built-ins and then a built-in desk with built-ins above that as well. And a wall of glass overlooking the back of the house. Next to that, the master suite. Master suite, raised ceiling with big, heavy beams. I mean, it's really beautiful and then a bank of glass across the back with French doors leading to your own private patio. And, and just off that patio is the hot tub and pool area. The master bath is exceptional. Uh, the finishes are beautifully done. The shower is just ginormous. It has multiple heads and the wand. Uh, makeup area on one side with the vanity. On the other side, it's a raised vanity. Private potty area, great size walk-in closet with built-ins. And then as you come back through the house, you're coming back through the, the, the living room and you get to the other side and now you're in a game room. Double doors separated. The game room has a media area also with a massive built-in for the biggest TV you can put there. Uh, it has a bar, it has, it has raised ceiling. Um, it, it's, a, it's a beautiful, well thought out room. And then as we leave that room, we go down the hallway and we have multiple secondary bedrooms, each with their own bath, each with walk-in closets, and we have the gym. 
on that side of the house. So you have really great separation in all the rooms. Great privacy and sound will never be an issue from one room to the next in this house. As I get to the end of the hall towards the uh, garage, we have an oversized utility room with lots of storage with the sink, uh, lots of folding space, has a window for natural light. And then as you come in through the garage on the left is a built-in kind of your catch-all. It's got built-ins. If you want to put lockers, you can put lockers there. There's room for that in the middle or hanging space for coats and backpacks. Then we go out to the garage. Three-car garage, insulated doors, beautifully finished. Your tankless water heater stored out there. Your central vac system for the house is stored out in the garage. And then outside the garage, a massive, I mean massive, driveway parking pad. So if you're going to have people come stay with you, no one can see that parking pad from the street, but if if you're gonna entertain, you have lots and lots of parking down below. And this is as private a place as you will find. We're sitting out back. There are no houses visible to either side of the house, nor houses visible to the back. So we're over two acres in Long Canyon, around 3,800 square feet, uber high-end build. All this priced at 2.2 million. But the shoes? do not come with the house.